ghostly greetings players ghostly greetings how are your boy prue don't usually do this quickie review i love this so much i'm doing a quickie review for it meg angel of death survival an audiobook slash ebook i did the audiobook oh, i said that first in the meg verse it takes place in the four-year gap between meg one the meg and meg two the trench which i just got in the mail so uh, obviously, we'll start reading the Meg Trench tonight, and you'll get a review of that whenever I get done. I'm on a lot of overtime right now, so there's that. But just a quickie shout out for that. I love that so much. Um, I really liked the character of Jonas. Oh, there's my kitty. And I really like the character of Terry Tanaka. I think those two are just fun characters. Terry Tanaka is like a fun, wild like, she's 26, but she acts like a fun college girl sometimes in the books, but she's also, like, an oceanographer, does stuff with the Institute, so she acts very mature for her age, but she also knows how to have a good time, so I really like her as a character. Jonas from The Meg, of course I like him, and Mac from The Meg, I like them. There's also other characters introduced in this series but those are my favorites. They also talk about a little of the habitat and uh, feeding of like megalodons and giant sharks in captivity. So for a giant underwater nerd like myself, I, I think that's great. I think that's an amazing way to do it. I couldn't be happier with uh, the way that that's done. I, I really enjoyed that. I mean, it's only, I got it on Hoopla. If you have the Hoopla app at, through my library, I have it. It's like three hours long. So it's just a real quick audio book that you can just plow, 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 plow right through. And it takes place in one of my favorite series, Meg. I think next year, I really want to focus on finishing up series. I want to finish Dresden. When that last book comes out, you're probably going to get a lot of Dresden content on here, as well as the rest of the internets. Uh... <laughs> I also really want to do uh, Lord of the Rings, Dark Tower, one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, so, so that's just a little bit of an update. I want to finish up some series, but one of the series I totally want to get into is Meg or The Writing of Steve Alton. And I'm just probably going to crank that into this year, honestly. I'm really feeling like the underwater vibes right now. And that's one of my favorite settings. So I can't go wrong with that. Uh, this book, though, is three bucks on Kindle, so I almost bought it, but I'm not a digital reader. I prefer the Dead Tree Edition, but a free audiobook, I'm like, you know what? I'm busting out orders at work. I'm just going to put on my audiobook, go through it. I give this a four and a half out of five stars. For the audiobook, three-hour-long book you get, I mean, it's short, it's to the point, and it, not only did I learn some shit, but I had a good time with the characters that I just mentioned. That's been your boy Prue, guys, and this has been a quick review of Meg, Angel of Death. So if you haven't read it, check it out. I don't know if there's a physical copy. Maybe it's part of the Meg Collector's Edition, which I don't have. Steve Alton, thank you for your awesome writing. And you know what, dudes? Stay creepy. Deuces. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun.